EA-6B Prowler is included in every carrier deployment. The EA-6B's primary mission is to protect the fleet's surface units and other aircraft. By interfering with enemy radar and communications, the EA-6B is an integral part of the fleet's first line of defense, and will remain so for the next century. As a result of the restructuring of the assets of the Department of Defense in 1995, the F-111 Raven was discontinued, and the EA-6B was left as the only radar jammer in the Department of Defense. Five new squadrons were formed. Four of these squadrons are dedicated to supporting the USAF's Aerospace Expeditionary Force Wing. The EA-6B Prowler electronic warfare aircraft which played a critical role in suppressing enemy air defenses during Operation Desert Storm, enhanced attack capability not only on carrier air wings, but also on U.S. Air Force and Allied forces, the decision to retire the Air Force's F-111A Raven and assign all Department of Defense radar jamming missions to the Prowler, added to the EA-6B's importance in combined warfare. With high-speed jamming and anti-radiation missile, harm, capabilities, Prowler is a unique national asset to be deployed from land bases and aircraft carriers, its ability to monitor the electromagnetic spectrum, and actively resist the use of enemy radar and communications, is unmatched by any airborne platform worldwide. After the DoD budget decision to retire the F-4G Wild Weasel, and phase out the use of the F-111 Raven, there will be an increased reliance of the Joint Forces Commander. JFC, on the EA-6B Prowler, for joint suppression of enemy airstrikes, defense role, JSEED, it is understood that SEED is more than a jamming and anti-radiation missile. All services provide complementary capabilities in the overall JSEED effort, and all services benefit from the resulting air superiority. Prowler is not optimized to provide a safe haven, based on an electron umbrella however, if used efficiently and effectively, these limited assets can provide JFC a decisive tactical advantage. The EA-6B is a multi-mission capable platform, combining a human interface with a sophisticated electronic warfare package. Whether a crew of four is assigned to an aircraft carrier-based Navy VAC squadron, a Marine Corps of MAC squadron, or a newly formed, jointly manned Navy land-based squadron, also VAC, they will come to the battlefield as a highly standardized force. Crews completing centralized training at Nas Whidbey Island, Washington, the Prowler is derived from the two-seater A6 intruder attack aircraft. The basic fuselage is stretched and reinforced to accommodate a four-seat cockpit. Another distinguishing feature is the pod-shaped fairing at the top of the vertical fin. The core of the EA-6B is the NALQ-99 tactical jamming system. The Prowler can carry up to five pods, one in the belly and two in each wing. Each pod is integrally powered, and houses two jamming transmitters covering one of seven frequency bands. The EA-6B can carry a mix of pods, fuel tanks, and or harm anti-radiation missiles, depending on mission requirements. The EA-6B tail fin pod houses a sensitive surveillance receiver, which is capable of remotely detecting enemy radar emissions. The emitter information is processed by the central mission computer, detection, identification, direction finding, and setting of the jammer can be done automatically, or by the crew. The crew of the Prowler consists of a pilot and three electronic countermeasures officers, ECMO. The ALQ-99 jammer is operated by two ECMOs in the rear cockpit. The ECMO on the right front seat is responsible for navigation, communication and defensive electronic countermeasures. In the coming years, the Prowler fleet will be modernized and upgraded to keep the aircraft and its systems up to date on threats and to maintain aircraft safety. The Block 89A upgrade program will address structural and carrying capacity issues associated with aircraft aging and includes a variety of avionics upgrades for flight safety and combined interoperability, subsequent improvements to the NALQ-99 Prowler tactical jamming system, including enhanced capability enhancement, like up 3 new high and low frequency transmitters, and ongoing structural refinements, will ensure that the EA-6B remains the world's premier tactical electronic warfare weapon. Platforms and power multipliers for years to come, the Marine Corps EA-6B Prowler provides airborne command and control C2W, support to the Navy fleet that includes electronic attack EA, tactical electronic support S, electronic protection F, and high-speed anti-radiation missiles. The ALQ-99 
updates on various battle units, the ALQ-00TJ as combat is used to provide active radar jamming support for attack support and attack aircraft, as well as ground units. Additional suppression capabilities against enemy air defenses seed, are available with the use of harm. Marine prowlers may be based on land from prepared airfields, or they may operate from expeditionary airfields, if they may also be based at sea, operating from aircraft carriers. Marine Prowler is unique in its integration with tactical electronic processing and evaluation systems. TERPS provides post mission analysis of EA 6BS data to report and update battle orders. It also provides post mission analysis of jamming and harm jobs to report, assess, and store mission data. After the switch from EA 6A to EA 6B aircraft, Marine Tactical Electronic Warfare Squadron 2. MAC-2 continued to provide detachments to carrier Air Wing 5 aboard USS Midway in 1980. MAC-2 completed its duties aboard Midway and began a shore-based rotation with the first seaplane wing at Iwakuni, Japan. The detachment was then sent back to sea duty aboard USS Saratoga and USS America. Marine prowlers, supporting joint operations against Libya in 1986 from the aircraft carrier, during operations Desert Storm and Desert Shield VMAC-2 had one detachment, six aircraft, deployed in Japan, and the rest of the squadron, 12 aircraft, deployed to the Persian Gulf. The reserve squadron, VMAC-4, six aircraft, transitioned from EA-6A to EA-6B, and then detached the detachment in Japan. During Desert Shield, the squadron flew 936 sorties for over 2,100 hours. Marine prowlers flew 495 combat missions for a total time of 1622 hours, supporting the full spectrum of combined and combined arms missions, effective October 1, 1992. The Marine Prowler community reorganized its structure. The VMACs were now organized into four active force squadrons, VMAC 1, 2, 3, 4. Each squadron now has at least five aircraft. This restructuring provided the necessary flexibility to continue supporting peacetime requirements as well as the capacity to simultaneously assign EA-6B Marine forces to commanders in different areas of operations, one squadron being assigned to Carrier Air Wing 1 on USS America, CV-66, on TA-95, while the other squadrons continued to support SYNC's unit deployment program and emergency requirements. <laughs>